Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video we're going to uh, go over three beats that I uh, do in my song Kundalini Rising. I um, had some requests to explain these beats and uh, there's a link to the sample video in the description box below and there will also be at the end of this video on the screen so you can hear how those beats are applied. So in the song Kundalini Rising, um, it's got the three grooves that I'm going to explain today. As always, I encourage you to do these along with me. Um, that would be awesome. And um, the first of the beats is what I just call the Swung Hemiola Jazz Waltz, which is kind of a common jazz waltz. It goes like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. I call it a swung hemiola because a true hemiola, which is two against three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, that uh, it's derived by equally um, subdividing the two elements. With a, with a jazz waltz, you really can't be equal about that because a jazz waltz theoretically is in 9-8 or three triplets because it's going triplet 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 three triplets three times three nine so it sounds enough equal that it seems like a hemiola one two three one two three but because that little eighth note or sixteenth note if you want to push it towards beat three is swung it's not a straight eighth it's a swung a rolled eighth um, it's not a true 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 hemiola and so that's why I call it a swung hemiola jazz waltz because it sounds really equal um, as it's going along but it's not a true hemiola now also the uh, symbol, kind of the di dissection of the beat, the symbol pattern on the right is going one, two, a three, one, two, a three. Bass drum is on beat one, one, two, three, one, two, three. The hi hat is sock symbol beat two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then the snare drum is just a ghost note on the and of two, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you get these four elements. Ready, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's kind of one of the standard jazz waltzes. There are some other derivatives. The second beat that I do on Kundalini Rising is what I call a Joe Morello polygroove. <laughs> okay, so what this is, uh, at least this is my name for it, um, it's it's taking the jazz waltz time or groove and juxtaposing a beat that's in 2-4 or you could say it sounds like 4-4 four, four, but I'm gonna say it's 2-4 right now uh, he did this on the uh, Dave Rubeck Quartet Countdown Time in Outer Space album he did it on a couple songs on that album and he's did it I think on many other recordings but I thought it was ingenious and it was so infectious I just love this beat um, basically what he's doing he's taking this the kick and the snare elements of the hemiola jazz walls one two three one two three okay and he's juxtaposing a beat that's just straight duple or in two with his ride and his sock one two three one two three one two three one two three one so it sounds like that it's just a basic swing beat in four four that's sitting on top of a jazz waltz and so we have the one two three one two three one two Okay, and uh, again, like I said, he did that at several tunes that uh, Dave Brubeck did. That's the second beat that I do on Kundalini Rising. 
Um, the uh, third uh, beat that I want to talk about is, uh, I call it a 6-8 rock using the Joe Morello polygroup. And what I mean by that is, strictly speaking, a 6-8 or 12-8 rock is just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if you're still thinking in 3, that's fine. It's just two bars. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, okay? So we're going to take that kind of rockish 6-8 uh, pattern, or 12-8 pattern, and we're going to superimpose this uh, ride sock pattern on top of it. One, two, three, one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 okay? Sometimes I also use steady eighth notes or quarter notes, depending on how you're subdividing on the sock symbol. So like one, two, three, four, five, six, Um, and it just kind of goes with where I am in the song. Um, I think that's about it for now. Thanks so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit the subscribe and like buttons. It really helps the channel and lets YouTube know to keep the video in queue for other folks. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comment section below. Um, and on the screen here and at the description box below are some related links and playlists. Please email me if you're interested in online lessons. I'd love to hear from you. The uh, email address is below. And just keep making music.